Hello, welcome to Wally Bra, and today I just want to show you this. Now this is my um, little uh, wood burning station by Holife, and it's a ZD8905 model, and it's from China, like most things, but it only costs 30 euros, you know, so it's about, so it's, I suppose it'd be about 30 dollars, 30, 35 dollars in, uh, in the US, in the UK, probably about 25 to 30 um, pounds. But it's actually a nice little tool. It's actually very, very well made, to be honest. I'm actually really happy with it. Now, before I got this, because I've only had it a few weeks, I've been using this. And it's a bit like a glorified kind of soldine, really. And what I find with this thing, it's actually not that effective. It's very, very slow to use. So whenever I try and do any writing or any sort of more fluid work with it, I find it's just a bit, bit stuttery. So you're trying to... I think draw alignment and you've got to really, really, really slow with it actually get much effect. It takes quite a bit of effort to get anything out of it, you know, to even get much of a mark. So it's not that effective. Yeah, admittedly, this is only about 30 watts of power, this particular unit, or this, this particular um, pen, pyrography pen, or whatever you like to call them, pyrography pen, wood burning pen. But anyway, that's been relegated now because now I've got this little device here and it works on a different principle. This one is a bit like soldering, it heats up the tip. This one here has, it's almost like a hot wire that you'd use for cutting polystyrene blocks and stuff like that. There's a hot, there's a wire in between uh, two electrodes and it puts a current through it and it heats up. But it heats up really quickly in relatively low wattage required for that. So it's really, really effective. Now this particular unit here is only 40 watts of power, that's all it needs. But it goes from 450 degrees right up to 750 degrees. And I've been having a bit of fun with it recently. And I've left it in the house, so I can't really show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate on a couple of heat settings, just so I give you an idea how effective it is on different woods. And I've got this bit of old pine, I've got a bit of oak, and I've got this off cut, which is actually a part of a point that I made on the post, a bit of chestnut. They're all seasoned, so they're relatively dry. So I just thought it might give you an idea how effective this is. Forget about the sold nine idea over there. If you see those types of um, pyrography sets, what have you, just give them a wide berth because they're not very effective and you'll just get frustrated. And you really want the hot wire type like this so it has the two electrodes and the wire in between. This particular one, it comes with four electrodes. So you've got shading ones, what have you, and a little fine point as well. It all comes in a little box. Bit of cardboard, that posh. No. Oh, and you've got spare screws and that to... Um, Lock off the that as well. You know, just actually set the wire into the end of the pen, and you get a manual which is various languages, and it tells you do not handle it until it's cold. Apparently, because you get burned. Be Ned done that. Won't do that again. All right. So anyway, let's turn it on, and let's just do a bit of demonstration. So we've got a bit of pine here, and I'm going to first demonstrate this bit of pine on 450 degrees, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to write 450. Why not? So you've got to press your little button down on there, there's a little button on the head, on the actual pen, and it'll heat up. I'm trying to keep my time down this time, I keep dragging on a bit. Anyway, <laughs> so it's heat, let it heat it up, it's on 450 degrees, and then it should start doing its business. So you can see a little bit of smoke come off here, and that's just on 450, which is quite a low temperature. And it's taking a bit of time to actually do its thing. And it's getting, it's getting there now, it's actually a bit more fluid. Maybe I didn't leave it long enough. But it's, that, that is more effective than the soldering iron type of um, pyrography pen. But it's still a little bit on the uh, low side regarding its temperature. So that is at 450. And as you can see, that's fairly as effective, but still a bit slow. And I'm going to try it on a piece of oak. I've been playing about it earlier. I've already done this video once, but it was actually way too long. <laughs> So we're going to just write on here 450 as well. And immediately it's more effective on the hardwood than the softwood. Now I think it's because the grain is closer together actually helps. Whereas the softwood grain is actually quite far apart. But this is only at 450 degrees. So it'd be good for your finer work and shading where you want a bit more control. Um, but for this it's actually, um, well, it's a bit messy. Because it's a bit, you're kind of dropping in between the grain. You want to be, um, the resonance areas, you want to be able to burn through them as quickly as you are the rest of the timber. And then on the chestnut we've got here, let's have a look at that one. And that is actually 450 is quite effective. So even though the hardwoods, you'd think, oh God, they're not going to be so good as the softwoods, such as the bit of pine, 
you know, the chestnut is actually quite a good timber for wood burning, it seems, even though it's got a wider grain than the oak. But it's down to the density, you see. So that, that burnt quite easy at um, 450. But I'm going to whack that right up now, just to show you, right up to 700. I could go one in between, because it's variable, as you can see on there. Goes from 450 up to 750. But then my video will be too long, because I'm not editing it. So I can't chop all bits out. So then we've got um, 750 degrees, and as you already see, it's glowing like a good one. So that's 750 degrees, it sets a light to your bit of wood. So I don't advise that you mess about with your gas bottles or anything like that while you're doing this. Make sure you've got no gas leaks, and do not break wind. So that's at 750 degrees in the pine. I don't particularly like wood burning pine, it's a bit of a messy timber to wood burn. So that's 750 degrees. Now let's try that on the piece of oak at 750 degrees. And it seems to burn quite nicely, quite fluid actually, to be fair, on the oak. Now I'm struggling a bit because my hands are hurting, gripping. That's one of the things I don't like about this particular um, set, is that the size of the actual pen is quite fat, and that constant pressing in of the switch is quite stiff. That does give you a bit of a fatigue. But it does actually do its job quite nicely. So you just have to give yourself a bit of a break. It does, if you want to let go any time, you can. Because it, does, it takes seconds, as you can see, to heat up again. So, 750 degrees. On the chestnut at 750 degrees, we have... It's quite aggressive, but it's actually quite nice as well. It's actually doing quite a good job. So this is at 750 degrees on a piece of chestnut. And it's quite fluid at 750 degrees. Um, when you obviously want to draw lines and stuff like that, the problem when you draw lines with any pyrography, where you tend to drop in between the grain into the softer timbers, and it makes your lines all really jittery. So it's actually having a higher temperature, sometimes it's, it's quite good. So fluidly, fluidly, more fluid um, with my movements, I can do much nicer on the chestnut uh, than the pine that I do know, and I'll show you in a second, but then also on the oak. That actually works quite well, you get good lines, relatively good lines. Remember, I'm, I'm not particularly good at this anyway. So, it, yeah, if you're, if you're running over quite quickly, like so, it actually does make a nice mark. And then on the pine, it's, I um, remember rightly, it's quite a coarse pine as well, so it's not particularly nice timber, or hemlock or something, I'm not sure it is, to be honest. And it's actually, the, actual, the density of colour, sorry, I'm see it on there, the density of colour isn't so effective. You have to have it on much longer, which means you fall in between the grain, like I did just then. So you tend to, f you require a lot more control. So I mean, more, like, more and more these little burns, whereas I just want a line like that. Uh, where it's soft, where it's like that, you tend to be able to fall in way too easily in between the actual resonance areas. Yeah, it might be what you want, but in this case, I'm just trying to show you that the iron actually does work, <laughs> and it's not a bad little unit. Now, I'm gonna play about with this a lot more, and maybe do a few videos with this, and maybe doing something a little bit more interesting. Maybe writing 450 and 750 on three bits of wood, <laughs> and then see, see what we can do with it, really. But um, it's, you know, even if it's just sort of if you want to mark, or give you oh, dedication on any of your um, work pieces, what have you, you, there's no reason why you couldn't make. Um, a wire that's in the shape of your logo or something like that. So you can actually use it as a, as a small brander, branding iron. Yeah, for the missus and what have you, it's quite good for that. Mark, mark, mark your territory. But anyway, while you're here, if you're most kind, then give it a like and subscribe, and maybe click the little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy bit in your pocket, and it'll be me uploading another video. And I know you'd be excited about that, wouldn't you? Yes? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching.